Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful Wednesday. Absolutely beautiful Wednesday. And I had so much fun making this card. I'll hang just a minute here to see who pops on. We're going to make a slimline card today. Look at the inside of that. That's fun. Hi, Kelly. This is fun. I've got all the dimensions. And everything for everybody. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Diana. Hello. This is my very first attempt at this slimline uh, card. So, good morning, Roxanne. Good morning, everyone. How wonderful to see everybody on here. Great. So, we're just going to use two colors today, Cajun Craze and... Um, hi, Susan. Um, early espresso. Those are the two colors, but uh, we will be cutting. Um, I know uh, you, this is going to be so much fun. Oh yes. And um, it is like, I did this one last night. So hello, Jean. So hi, Joan. This is my second one that we're doing. Good morning, Judith. Judith, I got your email. I'm so sorry. Hi, Lynn. Judith lost um, her pet. So that that's sad. Our fur babies are so important to us. So, um, hi, Laura. Hey. So uh, we are going over dimensions. And um, yes, we'll have to try this. Yes. Um, we are going to make the envelope together that I did last night. With just a little bit, maybe of a, um, a little bit something different up here. I like that I punch that, but I have to angle these a little bit so that it doesn't roll when I put this in like that or <clears throat> put the flap down. The other thing is I would have liked to have rounded the corners. I know, right? I know, Judith. I, that's so true. Thanks, Lynn. Sending hugs for sure. Um, but here, um, I would have loved to have round the corners. I need to order the trio punch to do that with. So, um, this would not fit even into the envelope punch board because it blocks it. And then this right here has guards on the side of it. And a little piece broke off of it in here the other day, but, um, it's still usable, but see, it won't go all the way in because of the guards. So, and, and it's the same thing with the envelope punch board. So definitely getting the trio punch. But let's go ahead and let's start. I'm so excited about this. I'm a little nervous about this. I have to admit that because, um, yeah, last night it took a lot of dimension here. And I want to show you this. This card, actually, this is a business envelope, okay? Just a regular business envelope. The card itself, if you don't want to make an envelope, will fit in a business envelope, okay? It will actually fit in there. So isn't that wonderful? So what that told me when I put this in here, which it fits wonderfully, I'm very happy with it, just like that, that possibly, I'm so sure, that a stamp, a regular stamp, would go on this. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. I kept, after I designed this, I kept having to come back in and look at it. I was like, oh my goodness, these were fun. So I just wanted to show you that about the envelope. Okay. Now, uh, I use the beautiful autumn because it's about to be fall. And so I just wanted to, I love this stamp set. I just absolutely love it. And I love the punches. You guys know that. Um, hi, Jordan. So a lot of fun right here. And let's go over some measurements at first. I think we're gonna we're gonna cut all of this together. Um, <clears throat> the not the card, the envelope, because there's scoring and cutting that needs to be done. So let me bring the card in first. Let me get my little pieces out of the way, and I will post all of these measurements sometime today um, on on. Uh, YouTube and Facebook, I will. The inside measurements right here are early espresso. 
at eight and five eighths by two and three quarters, and very vanilla, eight and three eighths by two and a half. Hi, Jeanette. Okay, that's the inside measurements. The outside layers are early espresso, eight and three quarters by two and seven eighths, DSP of any kind, of anything that you wanna do. I just picked this set, eight and five eighths by two and three quarters. Again, I promise I will post all of this for you guys. It's a lot, okay? The base is very vanilla, eight and seven eighths by six, scored at three. And that's what makes your base right there. Scored at three, just like that. Okay, we're gonna move that aside. I have um, these two little strips for the inside are one half by two and a half. We're gonna decorate the inside of the card. And then um, these, I made three of these. This is early espresso at two by two. And then um, the DSP from, this is so cute. I love this paper from the Gilded Autumn Specialty Paper. And um, what I cut out here, I punched out, is from this DSP. The, the leaves on here, it's the other side of this that we used the other day, the leaves on here and the acorn is, um, they, the punch punches them out. So isn't that fun? Okay. So that's what we did there. Now, and then the DSP from there is one and three quarters by one and three quarters. I cut three of each. Okay, so we're gonna layer these on here like that, okay, in just a few minutes. All right, let's move this stuff out of the way and let's go with our um, cutter here and we're gonna do some scoring and cutting. Now, uh, this piece is very vanilla and I have to admit to you, this is my very last piece. Does it cost more for the size? I don't think so, Roxanne. I'm, um, you know, because um, it fits in a bit, like this is a regular business envelope. If I put a letter in here, I would put one stamp on it. So this fits, you know, this is my thinking. I don't know, I haven't been to the post office yet. This fits in here, okay? So to me, that would take a stamp. So my envelope here, is smaller dimensions. So I'm thinking that it would take a stamp. Um, I might, well, the next time I go to the post office, which probably is not gonna be too soon, um, uh, I will ask them about this. So, uh, you know, because I'm not sure about, I know the thickness is fine with it. It's very thin, you know, so I'm thinking a stamp. But again, you know, I'm not a postal person. I could be wrong, so. Okay, so now this is, let me switch my measurements here. This is the envelope. We, and okay, what I was gonna say was, um, I've run out of very vanilla. This is my absolutely last piece. So just a disclaimer, if I mess this up, I'm just gonna make it in, in whisper white, okay? <laughs> but I, li I love the very vanilla with this set. It is what goes with that Gilded Autumn, okay. So we have this piece, we want this piece to be eight and a quarter by 11. We already have the 11 here that does not need to be cut on the long side. I know, right, Roxanne, I agree it shouldn't. Uh, you never know about the post office though, right? But I agree, it absolutely should just take, hi Carol, a um, stamp. So we have 11 inches here, and now this is at, of course, eight and a half. We want to cut it at eight and one fourth. Cut this down to eight and one quarter. Okay, just like that. I need a postage gal. I had some cards sent back for extra fifty. Oh yes, uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They might have been a little thick, Kelly. Yep, yeah. They're picky. They're very, very picky. Okay, now on this eight and a quarter inch side, we want to score if not over the weight, right. So what is the weight for a card? Good morning, Paula. I don't know what the weight is for just a stamp. I should, I do stamps.com, I could probably look that up. Okay, 
So here we have the eight and a quarter inch side up here, and we want to score each side of this at two and a half. Scoring each side at two and a half. So right here, bring our cutting blade down. We've got this nicely at two and a half, and we're going to score, okay? Then I'm just going to flip it. I wasn't gonna do another measurement out there. Just flip it, it's just easier. And score that at two and a half, okay? Now we're gonna turn to the 11 inch side and we're gonna score one end at one and a half, one end at one and a half, and then the other end at just one half. So I can just scooch that in there just like that and score that just at one half. Okay. Googled it and found this. Okay, now what we wanna do with this, so Lynn's gonna put something up maybe that will tell us about the postage. So now what we wanna do with this, we have a little skinny end here. Okay, one ounce per for one stamp. I didn't know that. Oh, one ounce, okay. I have a postal scale, so I could, I could weigh that. Um, okay, now, with this um, scored like this, you want to cut off the four corners. So that's what we're gonna do. We're cutting off these four corners. So there's a, um, oh, 70 cents a card. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's the skinny end and the thicker end, okay? We want to cut off all four corners. So let me go ahead up these. Before, I like to cut before I score because then I just have things flopping around most of the time if I can. So right here, I love these snips right to that center. Now here, you want to miter. Come in on just a little bit of an angle right up to that corner. Okay, throw that out. Do the same thing over here. Now, if you feel uncomfortable with cutting the miter the first thing, you can cut straight. And then you can cut up this way and take the piece out first. And then, you know, then you can do your angle either way that you want. Just give that a little angle down there. Let me get my pieces out the way. Because this little bottom here, this bottom right here, will make this right here, the little skinny part, okay? Now, the top part, same thing. We're going to come in here. And we're gonna cut this. It's like now I wanna make a ton of these. And now I'm going to angle here. I'm gonna angle right here. Is this the size of a number, number 10 envelope? I have no idea, Carol. Um, I don't know what the dimensions of a number 10 envelope are. So right here. Let me cut that up to that little corner right in there, okay, and just snip it. See, I love these snips because I've got that point, okay, and let me cut right here, and I'm just going to angle this up. Then if your angles are not the same, you can always do a little trimming, no big deal. Okay. Let's see, are we good? I think I might can angle this one just a hair more. Okay, right up here. Yeah, this is nothing that we're gonna rush through this morning. You know, not that I really rush when I craft, but it, this is nothing that, you know, we're just gonna take our time and have fun. Okay, there we go there. Okay, now, on this end, this is a business size envelope. Like that, this is just like, if I was to send a bill or something, you know, 
that's that size. Just a regular, I just got it out of the box that I have. I have little ones in this size. Um, <clears throat> okay, now, uh, what I saw here where this is not, you know, see how it's um, folding that paper down just a little bit. What I want to do, and I saw this on a video last night, she measured. She measured down about an eighth of an inch and angled this in. I'm not going to measure. You know me and the, the ruler. So I'm just going to come here, and I want to miter this side by the thicker end, okay, by the thicker part. Okay, just miter that on just a slight bit of an angle, and I'll show you why. It really does work. Right here. We're going to go right up here, right to that point. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Let me get my pieces out of the way. Okay. Now let's move this out of the way. And now let's do some scoring. So this is so simple now. You just fold, fold on the score lines. It makes your envelope perfectly. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. Now, you see how I came down here a little bit? That's gonna allow that flap to really close. And yes, I have to admit, I would love my, my corners rounded. So if you have something round, that would be nice. Now here, it's like a little bit off there. We could trim that a little bit more. You know, if you didn't like that to overlap. But see, I'm going to take the circle punch, this one inch circle punch, and I'm gonna do a little punch here. So I'm not concerned, too much concerned about that right there. I could do it like that, and then it covers it up. Okay, just make sure that that flap can come down. Got a little piece of paper hanging out here. So now's the time to trim all this stuff, just like that. But see how we just kind of angled that right there, just the least little bit. Thank you, Diana. Thank you guys for looking this stuff up about the postage. I appreciate it. So 10 in is uh, 4.13 by 9 and a half. All right, that's great. So look at what everybody's posting about the, the um, postage on this. So that's pretty cool. Okay, now I do want it to come like that. So I'm going to put sticky strip here and sticky strip on the skinny part. And we've really got our envelope completed here. So I'm gonna put sticky strip here. And I, I love, I gotta get this right to the edge because you don't want your envelope to open up. Okay, right there. And then a little piece here on the little flap. On the little flap. Just like that. Boop. Okay, now let's go ahead and pick these up. And now let's go ahead and close this. And I want mine, let's see, going that way, yes. Okay, so we're gonna close this this way. Just like that. Now we're gonna bring up the bottom flap. And there we go. Now I'm going to burnish this nicely with my bone folder, get that um, sticky strip really down nicely. Lovely. And then this is gonna come in. I'm going to burnish that right in here. I'm going to take my circle punch, and this is if you want to, and I'm just going to stick it right in here, kind of halfway, and I'm gonna make that little opening. There we go. Just like that. And now this really flaps down nicely. Really, really folds nicely, I promise on that. Okay, so I'm using this. So now up here, um, I'm gonna put sticky strip, but I'm not going to, of course, peel the backing off. 
so that then when I either send this to someone and they want to send it out or I send it to someone, then I can use it. So it's just like adding your sticky to the envelope, right? Okay. So right there, we're good. And then that will close. Isn't that nice? Nice little envelope. Okay. So Cajun Craze. Early Espresso. Okay, right here in this corner, we're gonna just stamp this like wheat looking stamp right here. And then, hi Brittany. We're gonna take this. I'm just gonna open that up and take Cajun Craze and stamp like that. Just like that. And that's our envelope. It is a nice heavy envelope. It really is. And it's very, very slim. Wouldn't this be fun to get in the mail? Okay. So our envelope is completed. And again, I promise I'll put all of the measurements up for you. Now, let's go ahead and bring, I'm excited about our card. I was worried that I was going to mess up that envelope. I was, because I was like, oh my goodness, it's just like me. It's my last piece of very vanilla, right? Okay, so here's our base of our card. Again, eight and seven eighths by six scored at three. Very simple, right here. Eight and seven eighths scored at three, boom. Could you use a circle punch to round the corners? Ah, uh, hmm, let me see. No, see, it does the other way. It goes the other way. Yeah, I don't think so. So we just kind of hang with that until I'm going to wait to get my punch. I really needed to get that punch anyway because I like the trio of it. It does a lot. Okay, so here's our base. Let me burnish this down really well. It's so nice. And I'm using regular, um, very vanilla cardstock. Um, I have thick on the way. But the, the regular worked out really, really well anyway, so that's okay. So now here's our outside layers. And we went through this, we'll just go through it again. The early espresso right here is eight and three quarter by two and seven eighths, the DSP, five, eight and five eighths by two and three quarters. We're going to layer this together. Oh, isn't it awful to put glue on that? That's so pretty. I wanted stripes though. My glue is clogged, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go, just like that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and place this on here. And this is just to give us, I can barely see it on that back, okay. Here we go, just to give us a very skinny, skinny, skinny border of our early espresso right there so that we can see it on our very vanilla. All right? Oh, you're fine. <laughs> so we can see it on our very vanilla right there, okay? So there's really like a 16th of an inch border with this is what I did. Of course, you can use other dimensions. You don't have to go with this. Okay. Oh, that's so, isn't that pretty? I love this striped paper. Okay. Let's go ahead and work with the inside of our um, card now. Our very vanilla that we're going to stamp on is eight and three eighths by two and a half. The early espresso that we're going to back it on is eight and five eighths by two and three quarters. So we're going to, to add our little strips here, and I just did these. I just cut these going the other way. And <laughs> instead of being up and down, they're going side to side. Lynn, that's so funny. Um, and I'm going to place these on the ends of the card. Remember, like yesterday, I said, I've got to use this DSP more. I just have to because I've got I, – I looked when I was – rearranging a little bit yesterday to um because I haven't brought my desk in yet it's here 
but I have to move every bit of this first, assemble the desk, bring it back in here, and um, put everything back on it. So that is something that was not going to get done yesterday because we were, my daughter came over and we got in the pool. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's going to take, that's one of my, um, let me do this late at night thing, you know, when nobody's here and it's quiet and we're just trying to get our last licks in before I have to cover it before the fall. Okay, here we go. So that makes that really cute, doesn't it? And it really complements the outside of the card, I think. Okay. So here's this. And let's go ahead and stamp Life is Better with You in Early Espresso. We're going to stamp that right here in the center the best I can get it. All right. And now we're going to use our little pine cones. Pine cones. This does not have the stamp with it. Okay, this is, uh, or this does not have the punch with it. This has, um, this is just the stamp. And I want to do a little two-step, of course, with it. So when you do that, this one right here, the solid one, is the lighter color. Into the early espresso, stamp it off. Okay? Then stamp it on. Now watch, this is a gorgeous pine cone. Now, when you take the one that's more detailed, stamp it into your early espresso. Do not stamp it off. I'm going to pull this down a little bit right over top of it. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. I have to hold this up. Look at the detail of that pine cone. That is so wonderful. I think so too. You know, Roxanne, I, um, what happened was seriously, you are so right with the snowflake. Now I'm going to do another one on this side because I was going to do a snowflake, but then I did the snowflake card yesterday. So I thought, okay, just go with, um, go with this. I didn't want to bore people by using my stamp set just on and on. I have a hard time not using that snowflake. Look how cute those pine cones are. I love the snowflakes. Okay, now we're going to place this on this part of the card. But yes, I totally agree. Snowflakes, and I think poinsettias would look fantastic on this too. Right here. Right here. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it when I back that with the early espresso. It just pulls the brown out of here. And then with the um, pine cones, I think that just looks fantastic. Nice fall card. You know, I can seriously, uh, me, uh, the way I, I'm the crafter that I am, I can get stuck on something and use it like crazy. Um, like this right here, I want to do this. I want to do these cards like a lot of them with a lot of sets that I have, even older sets. Do you not think that um, Butterfly Gala with some butterflies on the outside wouldn't be fantastic, right? So here we have the inside of the card, the outside. Now we're going to do these three little things and I'm going to show you on this card, my stamp is all together, okay? My stamp, have a beautiful day, is all together. And I broke it up, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. That came out so wonderful last night. I was just so thrilled with it. Okay, so we want to use our little, um, our little DSP pieces here, and they are one and three quarter by one and three quarter square. The, the uh, early espresso is two by two. Oh, thank you, Kelly, I appreciate that. Now we need this and we need some scotch tape. Just so simple. We want to stamp have a. So I'm gonna take my scotch tape and I'm going to block out, <coughs> excuse me, beautiful with the tape. Now the main thing here is like what I forgot yesterday one time, remove the tape after you put the ink on it, okay? <laughs> so I had to get, tickled at myself. I was like, I tell them all the time to remove the tape. I didn't remove the tape. 
Okay, so I put this, let's do this right here. I have this taped off beautiful. I'm just tapping have A into the ink. Turn it over. I don't really, I just have a little bit of ink on there, not really. Pull the tape off. Definitely don't want to use that again. Put this right here and have A right here where you want it. Wonderful. Let's move that there. Now we're going to do beautiful. I have to clean this. Just got my chamois over there. Okay. Now we need two pieces of tape. Blackout or block out. Have A and Day. And the word Day, just like that. How much fun, okay? Now we have, at first upside down, but now we have beautiful, okay? Let's put that into our early espresso. Now we seriously have ink all over the place. Remove your tape. There's one. I like to get it right into the trash bin. And then here's two, because I'm just so afraid, just knowing me, that I would set something down in it. Now, the only thing that has ink on it is beautiful. And I'm going to stamp that down here. Cute. Okay, now I'm gonna clean it. And again, just a little bit of tape on beautiful. This is just masking in the, <coughs> the easiest way. Hey, you are fine, watch the replay. Now we'll do day. Little bit in the ink, little day right there. Remove the tape, always remove the tape. And then day, I'm, and I'm gonna go to the right side here. Perfect. And that's how I broke the saying up and I thought it came out so cute. Because I wanted to use that, but I didn't, I was like, you know, I wanted to use three squares. This is a simple way to um, do this card. And, you know, for the first time, I just, I needed something a little easy so that I didn't get intimidated. But I'm telling you, this card, these type of cards can get very intricate and very, um, you've got a lot of working space, a long working space. So I think that's a lot of fun. Just a different palette to work on. Could you explain the chamois? Oh yeah. Do you let it dry up? Yes. Oh yeah. It gets hard. Oh yeah. Um, I just rinse my chamois. Um, l let me, let me get these glued down and then let me show you my chamois. <laughs> You're going to laugh. Okay. And there's sometimes I put it in the dishwasher. The dishwasher soap somehow or another cleans it really well. Um, so let me put these down just like that. Okay. So the chamois. This is my chamois. It is well loved, well used, and wonderful. And I absolutely love it. You just use water. I put it on. Let me show you what I do. I have my Stampin' Scrub here. Now, you know the Stampin' Scrub has um, the little water right here droplets. That's what you would spray your mist on. And then over here is the sunshine, so that means that this side is dry. So I have this to the side. I keep this here, okay? So that too, um, you know, if I need this surface to clean, I've got it, okay? So I kind of keep it together. This is wet. Yes, when it dries, it dries, it curls up, it gets hard, um, and you just soak it. Just soak it, and you'll see the ink will bleed right out of it. But don't worry. The only reason why it looks like this is because I use it a lot. And so I just keep it on top of here, and I do not put it in a case because it will mold. I promise you guys, it will mold. You put something wet inside of, like, I've seen demonstrators put them in these cases, okay? You put something wet in here and close it up, it's gonna mold. <clears throat> I'm 
mine dampen, it is starting to deteriorate. The pieces are coming off when I use it. Okay, Carol, you um, just let it dry out. I've had mine from when they very first came out. I don't know, what is that, a couple of years maybe? Um, <clears throat> and um, I have never put it in a case. I wet it, I wring it out, I'll let it soak. I let it dry out all the time. I know, Roxanne, I swear, I never have enough flat surface to work in this. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I have, I know, Carol, I agree. Um, yeah, don't put it in the case. Okay, now these we're going to make a little array of um, fun here with these little punches. And uh, like I said, my chamois, a lot of times I throw it in the dishwasher. But it's always, it always comes out looking like, you know, looking dark like that. So I love the little acorns. You guys know I love the acorns. And these I just punched out from the DSP. These were fun to punch. You could also um, stamp. Yes, they are. They're only $8. And you know what I even thought, Diane? Um, I even thought of getting one because, like, I love, I love them. I really do. But I think I'd like to cut it in, in four and have like four smalls and just, um, and use it to um, clean stamps that way sometimes, you know, just in my hand. So I had thought about getting um, another one of those. <clears throat> if you lift the corner on the mat on your desk, the air will be removed from underneath and lay flat. Is that what's going on here? It needs to be burp like Tupperware, right? Laura wouldn't understand that. She's our Tupperware consultant. If you ever need Tupperware, Laura Miller, she's on here. There's my daughter. Hi, honey. And now we're going to put this here. I cut a piece off mine and use it on the Stamparatus. Oh, fantastic idea, Diana. Fantastic. Yes. Yes, sometimes um, it is a little large. And um, you're right. The, you know, cutting a piece of it and using it like that is fantastic. So here we are decorating our little three um, squares here, and they're gonna go on with some dimensionals. I really hope you guys will try this card today, or maybe this weekend. I think it's gonna be a beautiful sunny day. We are really trying to stay outside as much as possible, my daughter and I, and, um, Here we go. So there we go with those. Now, let's go ahead and put some dimensionals. And I'm just going to use these little sides and maybe one in the middle to do these. And I'm just angling them in. Didn't need the whole dimensional. That was a little bit much on the back of this. So I decided to use my sides. Great way to use them up. Now, I suggest with this that you do one side and then do the other. So I'm kind of looking at my stripes here and I'm coming in and I'm gonna line up right there, just like that. Now I'm gonna take this end one, put my dimensionals on it. right here and then right here yeah I love the chamois I have to admit I do like that chamois I love my scrub because there's times when you know you need both um, and I have two stamp and scrubs actually because one sometimes sometimes when I wash one it takes a little bit to dry now I'm watching here so I'm watching over here on my spacing, and I think I'm good right there. Then we're gonna put this one in the middle. Oh, this came out so cute. The more I do them, the more I love them. So like, but the more, okay, more. What's more? This is just my second one. Isn't that funny? But it is a fun card, uh, just a different palette to um, decorate on, a different, uh, 
dimension of it. Um, I've seen some other um, places that have dies that are specific for slimline cards. I was kind of hoping Stampin' Up! might go ahead and do something like that. Now I'm going to put this in the center. And see, then it's easier to center the middle one if you get your two ends, okay? Here we go. Look at us go, guys, today. We have just made a beautiful, beautiful card. Let me move this out of the way, get my stuff. I thought maybe it would take a lot longer because I was really seriously worried about the envelope. But we did great. Let's get definitely get this ink out of the way, right? Because I... Am a disaster. So did uh, we? I was watching um, HSN yesterday, and I have to admit, I was really good. I didn't order anything I wanted to, but I didn't. <clears throat> um, I do have the new Big Shot coming. I'll say that. Let's see it cut a piece off of my stick. Yes, uh huh. So here are our beautiful cards today. Isn't this fun? So cute. You can use these dimensions and use any stamp set, dies, anything that you have, guys, with this. You have a wonderful, wonderful palette of um, the, how could I say? I love the slimline style. Yes, Diana, I really do. Um, I, I, this is the first time. These are the first two cards I've ever made with it. And um, I'm very, very happy with them. And like I said, the palette is long. So there's a lot that you can do with it. Um, instead of like, uh, let's see, instead of like this card, you know, I mean, here's this one, just like that. But look at, at the length that we have here. Isn't that fun? And I thought the envelope came out great for my first try at it. I think it came out okay. I think we are really, really good there. I'm very, very excited about it. Yes, there is so many things. And I just, um, exactly, Diana, I am so seriously looking for ways to use up my DSP. And this actually helps you. It really does. You know, because like if I do a class or if I um, do my happy crafting card kit class or even my free card kits, there's sometimes that I have to, um, oh, I agree, that sled would look fantastic on here. It This does have a wow factor. Um, but yeah, I have to admit, you know, I get a little stuck sometimes uh, designing things, and but this helps. This really, really helps having something different to do. Uh, and um, just using your DSP a whole lot more. Uh, this card screams, please use DSP behind it and then make a scene in front of it. And I think, um, I definitely think using the Santa sleigh with the deer. And then the other one that I thought of was um, this one that has the fence. Where is this one? Um, this is one of the free cards, but I thought the fence here with a little wheelbarrow, maybe a tree, something like that, that I thought that that would look really, really cute there too. So I hope you guys will um, attempt to try this design. Again, um, I will, yes, and a great way to use your little scraps. It is, it just really worked out really, really well. I am so happy <laughs> with this card. And these pine cones, wish it had a punch, wish, it, wish this had come with four punches because those pine cones, look at the detail in there. I would just like to make my own DSP with those pine cones. Thank you, Susan. And the pumpkins on the fence for Halloween, exactly. There are so many ideas because here you have a longer span of... Um, I don't know, of a palette that you can use to make any type of design, a scene, um, you know, just really play. I will have these dimensions up for you in the next little bit. And um, so I hope, hi, Becky. Um, I hope that you will try to make this card today, maybe, or sometime soon, and do some happy crafting with it. Uh, now, I'll be on on Sunday at 7 so that will be fun live here on Facebook. And of course, tomorrow my girls get their video on my happy crafting car, uh, my happy crafting corner. 
So that's fun. Thank you, Judith. Um, please, everyone, have a very safe and wonderful day. I love starting my day crafting with you guys. This gives me uh, the most positive way to start my day. I say that all the time. I couldn't do this without you guys. I know, the puffy paint to make snow. I saved mine. I have Snowfall Accents puffy paint for this year. I know The gnomes for the holiday. I just ordered the gnomes. I just got the gnomes, Lynn, and three little gnomes on here would look cute. And um, with that being said, uh, I'm going to show you all how to easily fussy cut. Um, oh, have them looking out a window. That would look so cute. Oh, thank you, Susan. Um, so, uh, yes, I think that would be adorable. Yes, but there is a way to kind of, I saw a video on it. Um, to fussy cut like with red rubber, it would help. Um, so we'll go through that, but I have to get the gnomes here first. They're on order. Of course, you know, it's a little slow picking. We're fine. Everything's going just fine. And it just takes a little while to get the product in here, but um, we will be playing with that for sure. So here is this card. Oh my goodness. I just can't stop looking at them. Just so sweet. Fun card today. I hope you guys will try um, the design. And like I say, if you don't want to make an envelope, it'll fit into a, you know, into a business envelope. Just a regular business envelope. I appreciate, appreciate everyone watching, tuning in, uh, commenting, everything. I just appreciate you guys so much. I love to start my day with you all. Really appreciate it. So please have a wonderful and safe day and do some happy crafting.